You mentioned you were delivering to restaurants. Is there a minimum order? There is a minimum order. We deliver wholesale uh, herbs and there's a three pound minimum order. And most of our customers are uh, restaurants that are in the city. And that is our target focus, just being able to take orders within hours of those orders being placed and have it delivery de delivered to those kitchens uh, if we possibly can within hours. If not, it's less than 24 hours. Are there any advantages in growing plants hydroponically? There are several advantages. Uh, one of the biggest advantages Chef Luna is the fact that you're getting the most nutrient dense food that's capable of growing and it eliminates waste. You know, I think about the fact that we waste a lot of food in this country and there are places that are still having problems getting fresh food. So you, you lose less water. 95% less water than traditional growing and farming. Uh, so it's an environmental impact where you're saving travel miles, you know, with efficiencies and a, a lot of ways of getting food to people. So there's several advantages of growing hydroponically. You grow it faster, it's more healthier. And then from harvest to table, it takes away so many days, hours, weeks, if you will, before people are, are eating fresh food. Once you cut a uh, lettuce, how often does it grow? Once you cut it, you mean, does it grow back? Yes. It does, it does. So uh, depending on the types of lettuce, you can harvest two or three times on the same head of lettuce. So after a harvest, on average, it's growing back and ready to harvest again within 10 days. What products are you currently producing? The, the majority of what we grow is basil. That is 90% of everything that we've grown here at the farm. And we had to transition into that because of the pandemic again. Uh, but we grow everything from uh, chives, from Thai basil, oregano, parsley, uh, dill, uh, lettuce greens, spinach, uh, kale. We, we grow quite a nice variety of food. Do hydroponic plants taste or smell different than soil plants? Yes quite a bit different. And that's just not me saying that, but once you experience eating something that's been grown hydroponically and something that's been grown either traditionally, uh, there's a huge difference. And one of the main reasons is with hydroponic growing, the nutrients go directly to the roots of the plants as opposed to traditional soil farming or gardening a lot of those nutrients aren't always getting to the roots. They go and absorb by the dirt and the plant roots around it. Now, that's not to say that there is something wrong with traditional farming, but the nutrient density is quite a change. I mean, there's a huge difference between the two for those reasons. What type of hydroponic system do you use and why? I use a vertical hydroponic system and the reason I use vertical, there's, there's all sorts of hydroponic systems. Uh, we use vertical towers and from my research years ago before jumping into this business, I knew I live in the city and I knew I wanted to be a part of the community and the urban community. So space is a premium. And I needed to understand how I could grow a lot of food in a very small space. So using vertical towers, that gives me the ability to do that. I use eight foot tall vertical towers in a very dense space. So 
my warehouse is about 2,400 square foot. That's equivalent to almost two and a half acres of food. And I'm able to grow it vertically 